Hey everyone, so I'm here to roll out a new feature called AI Flows, but before I do that, I just want to take a moment to remind you all that our mission is to take individuals and turn them into what would normally take a team to produce the same kind of output, the same quality and the caliber of work. And the way we're doing that is using AI and automation. We've been at this for 12 years and I just want to remind you of this particular um, mission at this moment because AI flows really, really takes us another giant leap towards that. So when you think about what a team does, what's so great about a team is you've got individuals who are dedicated to doing things like creative ideation and um, like building ideas and presenting them. You've got analysts who take those ideas and analyze what the pros and cons might be and present to the decision makers what all of the ramifications might be. Then you've got the decision makers, the bosses, the supervisors who take all of that, assimilate the information and make an informed decision. And eventually it works its way down to the doers, the people who actually go back to their desks and a few days later, they're the ones that are distributing the deliverables to all the other members of the team. And let's not forget the project manager whose job it is to break this big project into tasks, assign those tasks and make sure that they come together in a coherent way to create a great, great, great deliverable. So what we've done with AI flows is we've gone a step further than where we have in the past. Right now, what really made version two of our AI writer great is that we took other AI writers and kind of souped them up. What other AI writers do is basically the doer part. You tell it what you want, and it does a pretty good job of giving you back what you're asking for. But what we did with version two is we allowed you to break up each task into two separate, very critical components. One is the ideation and the decision-making part of it. So what we do is instead of forcing you to think of exactly what you want, we let you um, use our wizard to come up with 10 ideas. So we do the creative uh, thinking for you. We also do the job of the analyst to provide you the why. Why are we recommending these 10 options for you so you can make an informed decision as that manager, as that supervisor on the team. And once you've made that decision with the click of a button, then it hands it off to the doer, quote unquote, who actually produces a deliverable, writes that perfect document for you. So what we've done is taken that two-step process and turned those into blocks, and we've stacked those blocks. So now you don't need the um, project manager because now you can be your own project manager and create these amazing projects that include a stacked up block of tasks. And we daisy chain those tasks together in a coherent way to create a project deliverable that is killer. That was the one missing component to really replace a team. Now you as an individual, if you're one of our social pro subscribers, especially, then you can become that agency that you know kills the big guys and can get those $2,000 a month clients. And now if you're an individual on an existing team, you can do much more than you were able to before. You can become that superhero on the team that's able to do a lot more, even if other people either aren't being helpful or if those people are displaced. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of teams that are missing members right now um, due to this crazy um, hiring, either the hiring freeze or there's a million reasons why people aren't in the roles that they're supposed to be right now. So whatever the reason is, I want you guys to be able to do much more than you previously could on your own. And I think now we can do that. So the way flows works is we break up tasks, like I said, and I'm going to walk you through how this works and how one task flows into the next. So what we're starting with is something called a startup assistant. This is the first business task that we are taking over. Seems to make sense because there's a lot of people creating side hustles. Even if you have a great job, even if you're one of our social pro people who have a great side hustle doing agency work, maybe you want to start another business. So Startup Assistant lets you create unlimited businesses from the inception of the idea with fact-based recommendations all the way through to launching it and creating a final tactical plan. Uh, and this is not to be confused with the startup assistant, the agency startup assistant we give you as an agency pro subscriber 
for starting one of our automated agencies. This is to actually go a little step further and it will help you come up with what business to start. Even if you have no clue, you'll be able to sit down with this in an afternoon and by the end of the afternoon have all of the deliverables, including legal, of your business done and ready to kind of hand off to that next step. <clears throat> the very next flow we're gonna be creating very soon is SEO. So think about all of the different elements and aspects of SEO. There is the technical on-page work, there is the link building, so many different things, even the blog writing, all of that. We're gonna be creating a flow that will step you through how to take a website and really, really drive organic traffic to it. Um, that's something that the previous AI writer just couldn't do because yeah, each of those elements are there. You know, We have a task for writing great SEO blogs, but what about the on-page SEO and all the other elements and aspects to it? How do you create something that's more comprehensive um, as a complete business process to achieve a, a real project outcome? So enough jibber jabber, let's jump right in and I'm gonna show you how the startup assistant works. Um, the people that are gonna use the startup assistant, you know, the first person to ask for this is someone on our agency pro team who does business consulting and they said, you know what, my business uh, coaching clients would love this. So we built that with that in mind, but this would also help, like I'm gonna go through this with my son. He's um, a senior in high school. I want him to start a, a side hustle because I just don't know what the future is gonna mean for him with AI kind of taking over a lot of roles. I want him to jump in front of that and start something on the side to sustain him while he's going through college. <clears throat> um, this might be something that you do, like I said, um, if you're just looking for additional income, this might be something that you do for yourself. But I really love the idea of doing this as a business. Help other people that want to start a side hustle, start marketing yourself on Fiverr as a business consultant. You could very easily do this over Zoom. Sit down with somebody on the other end of the Zoom and walk them through these steps. Help them get step by step all the way to a launch plan. So anyway, enough talking. I already said that, but still, still just chatting on. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna jump into GPT-4. I wanna mention here that um, GPT-3.5 is fine, but pay the 20 bucks. I mean, there are so many things that ChatGPT Plus is offering now that you can't get on the basic free plan. And AI is kind of taking over, you guys. Like, to not spend $20 a month to invest in that in yourself. And it, like, if you're an agency pro person, if you spend $20 a month and you have 100 clients, because some of you do, that 20 bucks a month you can leverage across all of those clients. So I recommend you do that. They also have these killer plugins and code interpreter. There's some great things that GPT-4 has that the standard one doesn't. Um, so this is um, ChatGPT on the right, on the left, as usual. We have the startup assistant, which looks similar, and I'm gonna point out the differences when we get into the flows feature later on. So as usual, what you need to do is go step one all the way through to the end. If you already have a company to start, like an idea, that's fine. You still should go through each one of these and let the chatbot know that you've already made that decision. Um, I want you to spend time and read every single instruction that's presented to you because it's very, very important. There's so much leverage here that if you make a misstep early on, it can really compound and not give you the best result. So this is the most complicated step. This is the one where you're choosing a company to start. And what you're gonna do down below is use this wizard. Like this is a chance to tell it a little bit about yourself. So you're gonna make this chatbot consider all of the experience you've had, um, maybe there's a network that you have, like some asset that you have is, that you could leverage for this business and you don't want to ignore that. Um, <clears throat> let's do that right now. Let's use me as an example. I'm going to say that consider that I've had 30 years of marketing management experience. And the next one is the limitations. So I want to limit the scope of the recommendations to something that fits my lifestyle. So examples here, something I can run while still working a full-time job, that doesn't apply to me. Um, I've been liberated happily for many years from my job, thanks to um, social monials. And digital products only, I love that. So I don't know if you're like me, but digital products are just so much easier and cleaner. I don't want to pick, pack, and ship you know, Shopify products. It's just not something that I want to spend time doing. 
So I'm going to limit the recommendations to digital products or services only. So I'm okay with the service as long as it's digital and I'm not having to deal with any physical products or physical labor. Um, that's it. I'm going to say generate the chatbot prompt now. And we've also made another improvement to the system where every single thing that you do automatically copies it to the clipboard. So whenever you see this copy, it's already in your clipboard. You don't need to click this anymore. So you can immediately just go over to the chatbot, paste it and run it. Oh, see digital marketing consultancy e-learning platform. So as it's kind of rattling off these 10 different ideas, I want to also mention something to you. Um, we have set up this flow to not take into consideration any of your company profile settings. So as you know, with our AI writer, um, we allow you to have a company profile. So it takes in all of the information, takes all of it into account. Like if you already have a company, you can list all the company information. Um, we ignore all of that for the startup assistant flow. And the reason for that is you might be trying to start a new business. So how frustrating if it keeps on considering what you did prior to this or the company you own now. Um, that's just a little um, aside. Um, I also want to just remind you that this is being created in a whole new thread within um, ChatGPT. If you ever want to do anything for this particular company that you're creating with the AI writer, you can always come back to this thread later and ask it to do things for your company. And it will still be there. It remembers all of your previous threads and conversations with the chatbot. So it's so nice to be able to come back later and say, hey, remember this company? I want to also create a blog or I, I just launched a new product. Go ahead and help me write the email to launch this. And it knows exactly about your startup because it helped create it. I love that about this. So anyway, let's see what it recommends and let's make a decision here. Digital marketing consultancy, e-learning platform, social media management tool, funny, because <laughs> um, we already have that. Online advertising platform, content marketing agency. Ooh, I love that, because that complements what I'm already doing with social monials. Digital branding consultancy, e-commerce optimization consultant. That's pretty sweet too. AI chatbot development and influencer marketing platform. Um, wow, I, I kind of have it down, like whittled down to these two, e-commerce optimization consultant. So I'm gonna see what it has to say about this one and the content marketing agency, and then I'll make a decision. So e-commerce optimization consultant, the description of this is it offers a service that helps e-commerce businesses increase their conversion rates and average order value. And why it recommended it. With online shopping continuing to grow, businesses are looking for expert advice on how to maximize their e-commerce results. I love that. Content marketing agencies start an agency that specializes in creating and distributing high quality content for businesses to use in their digital marketing efforts. And the why on this is quality content is king in digital marketing. And your background would ensure you know what kind of content performs well. You know what, guys? We got to do this. That's just too sweet. So remember the instructions. I um, asked you to read those. So click to copy this prompt, paste it in the chat bot, chat bot to the right. Um, and then step two would be choose which idea from the list in the chat bot. So I like number six. So I'm going to click number six and then paste this over here to tell it what our decision is and to give it its next instruction. Okay, so let's read the instructions of step three. Now click to copy this prompt and paste it to the right. We've already done that. Um, and that's going to create a list of proposed products or services. Very sweet to choose from in the next step. So it's actually going to help us niche down. I love that. So I'm going to wait for this to finish. It's a lot faster if you choose GPT 3.5, but I find that the results are more well thought out with GPT 4. So I use that model. Okay, so all 10 are done. So let's see, recommendations, AI generated content, multimedia content packages, SEO optimized content, customized infographics, interactive content, podcasting script and production, content audits and strategy, that's kind of nice, virtual reality content and voice search optimized content. So do we see any niches we like here? 
I don't want to specialize in this because that's going to make me too easy to replace. This is interesting. I like this multimedia content packages. So when you kind of mix it up, that gives you a little bit of a specialty. Okay. So it tells me I'm going to choose from this in the next step. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this. And since the next step is where I enter this, I'm just going to move on to the next step. So this is something new. Just remember, you can always refine um, from here what you want to do. Um, this particular one doesn't have any additional refinements. But um, so step two, one thing I can do if I hated the list that it came up with is I can um, actually redo the list. And I'll show you on the next step how to do that. But on this one, I'm just going to say done next step. And what it does is it skips past all the other stuff and it takes you right to where you would make your next decision. So right here, it says, which products or services did you choose from the previous step and just paste it. And if you forgot to copy it before, it doesn't matter. It just says copy it from the chatbot. That information is still going to remain over here um, while you go on to the next step. So now I am going to tell the chatbot and ask it to perform the next iteration here. So now it's a step one, click to copy this prompt, already did that, and it's gonna generate a list of recommended target markets to choose from. Okay, so target markets. Um, it's gonna recommend different ones, so I'm gonna just kind of go through these and pick one. So medium to large businesses, e-com businesses, there we go, that's pretty nice. Digital marketing agencies, tech startups, education institutions, nonprofit organizations, hospitality, tourism industry. And by the way, I've asked these to be in order of what they recommend. So as you get down to the bottom, um, just know that it's not its first recommendation. Um, health and fitness brands. Oh, that is so huge. And real estate agencies and SaaS companies. Okay. I have always loved real estate agencies because of my background in real estate. Um, so let me see here. It says why in an industry where visuals can make or break a sale, your multimedia content packages could be highly valuable. I love that. I'm going to go with number nine just because I've always loved real estate. So I'm going to choose that and then follow the next steps. The first step will always be to just paste and get it going. So what I like to do because I'm um, super impatient is to as soon as I create that, um, I don't even read the instruction. I just go over here, paste and enter to get it working while I read the rest of it. So I've already done the click to copy and paste it in the chat bot. And then what this is going to do is create a research document for my target market. That is super helpful. Okay, so um, right now it's creating the research document. Um, I'm going to move on. This is something that will be helpful for me to have in, in the future. This is really one of those deliverables that the team has to create because this research document is going to guide our decision making in the future, not necessarily right away. So I'm going to say done and next step. Create your avatar. Okay. Okay. So in the interest of time, I'm going to jump ahead here. So after you create your avatar, it allows you to choose your company name. It helps you to create a brand messaging document, your website copy, create your terms of service and choose your company entity type. You can also create your FOMO introductory offer to really jump your sales from day one. And then finally create a really creative launch plan that cuts out all of the marketing plan fluff and gets right to a list of things that you can do like growth hacking tips to really get traction early on with very low investment. I hope this feature is interesting to you guys. I encourage you to go through it with your kids, go through it with yourself. It might just open up your eyes to a new side hustle or a new way to generate additional recurring revenue for your family. Thanks a lot. And I look forward to building more of these flows for you, starting with SEO, which is coming soon.